Hey Legionnaires, and welcome back, we're here in the world of Napoleon's Total War once again, and we're here with another glorious ATW3 man for you today, and today we are showing off another Lord's uh, server clan battle, as we have Rheinbund facing off against Young Guard, we have Rheinbund playing as the Rheinbund, so yeah, they're playing as um, Jerome over here, we've got, uh, well, most of the rest of the, like, sort of like the Confederation of the Rhine, I guess you could say, with like, uh, Van Damme and uh, Bernadotte playing as Sax uh, Saxony and Bedenburg, and then you have uh, Lefavre here, or Lefer, I think it's Lefer how you say it, actually, sorry, not Lefavre, Lefer, um, playing as Bavaria. So we have very much like got the Confederation of the Rhine plus the other German allies here. So Rheinbund playing as their as their actual sort of true self, and they're going up against Jungard who are playing as Austria. So we have uh, Lichtenstein, we have De Est. We have Chastler and uh, Kian Mayer, I think is how you say the final one there, uh, as the cause. So uh, yeah, we have, um, it, yeah, it's a fairly fairly even sort of uh, point sort of value, I think. I imagine um, it's a seven, eight, um, the six there. That's a f f uh, eight, seven is 15. We've got six there, it's 21. And then who's the final court? Jerome. So it looks like it's going to be like a 29 point battle, if I'm right, if my math is right there, maybe I'm just doing some terrible, horrible maths. They actually didn't state out what the points value are, but I presume it's something like that. 8 does, yeah, 14. There's 16 there, if you do those two. And then... Yeah, and then that's going to be 22. Yeah, 29. What a strange point value. That is very strange. I guess it kind of works maybe with these unusual cores that they used. Maybe those are like the limits they went for. I know that some of these uh, Austrian cores aren't exactly the strong as Lichtenstein though is pretty strong. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they uh, face off against the, these uh, certainly weaker French or Imperial cores. Because there are no French units here. This is all like allied troops. We've got like Danes here. We've got um, like Mecklenburg. We've got, yeah, like Berg. Bergish. Got Saxon uh, cuirassiers back here, so it should certainly be an interesting one. That is for sure. I'm intrigued to see whether the Austrians can break through this allied sort of German uh, German offensive. Looks like yeah, Bavarians here. One of France's staunchest allies until the very end. Well, until 18, 1813, I guess. They're gonna swing on onto the right flank here. They ba basically the Imperials, as you can see on the map here. They're, uh, they're planning to obviously kind of hold this, uh, this two-pointer here. They've got the one-pointer, another one-pointer, and uh, way up here as well in the uh, in the north. And uh, yeah, it looks like they obviously wanted to defend the two-pointer. It's the only two-pointer on the map. So currently they have one, two, well, they don't hold this one, but two, three, four points. Austria, I think, holds this one-pointer here in the middle. And that is it. I guess you could, in theory, say they hold the other one behind them. But... Uh, Obviously, the two-pointer is the key point to really fight for. Something to also note in this battle is that Jerome has two units of Hussar. Well, one's a Hussar and one is a... Oh, no, there's also a Danish Hussar over here. Uh, just way in the back. Way in the back. Being very, very passive. So they went all the way around up into this forest as the uh, Austrians descended onto the, uh, onto the Germans down here. So they are very much in the back lines. And looking, I presume, for general kills or... Artillery, some key stuff like that, they'll be looking for. Looks like we've got lots of sort of like Hungarian troops there moving forward. Lots of uh, Hungarian line infantry there moving up. You can tell the Hungarian line infantry. So they have uh, two trousers on. They're pushing on. They're going to be trying to kick out Bernadotte from his town. It is mostly Cav here. Um, that is just defending this town at the moment. Weather. They'll stand their ground, or whether they'll maybe go for charge, send these Hungarians packing, we'll see. There are some variants on the way to support, but they are a little way off. The cab has to hold on its own at the moment. We've got a big Hussar unit here for Austria as well, coming up to support this infantry push. I can't imagine Bernadotte will be hanging around here, but we'll see. Allies capture another building, I think. Yeah, that's the two-pointer at the back, is now occupied by some line infantry of Bavaria. Here we go, we're going to see a charge. I think we're going to see Chevalier Gers go in after infantry, maybe? An interesting move by Bernadotte, he's going in. It's 
spot in the uh, Austrians here should get a volley off. Oh, no, last minute they are falling back. Probably the smart move. They lost a couple of riders though for that. And yeah, you can see the uh, the Austrians are going to counter charge out. And the Austrians have more cab in the forest here. And it's a trap that they were looking to set and it has worked. But we are going to see a charge down the street here for more Chevaliers. They're going to go and clear out these... Uh, oh, no, they've changed their mind as well. Uh, because they can form square. Aha. Austrians weren't silly. They sent in a squareable unit down this road. And all that was achieved there was a few riders lost for the uh, for the Germans. That's what I'm going to call them here today, I think. The Germans. Since it's not the French, it is the Germans. Fighting on behalf of the Imperials here. Fighting for Napoleon. The French are being lazy. Eating their baguettes and their cheese. Sitting at home. Whilst the, the Germans are doing all their hard work. Some cool grenadiers here. Of uh, Vettenberg. Very, very nice. Yeah, lots of Danish troops there. Is it Dan Danish Oldenborgs? Because that's from, like, Oldenburg, I guess. Maybe the Danes held control of it, or... To some extent. I mean, the Danes probably did get some land out of the uh, the French deals. Like Schleswig. What have we got here? Light infantry. More from Vettenberg. So Venenberg's coming up to support Varia in this sort of push here. Again, another sort of charge gone forward here. Chevrolet Gers not really achieving a lot. The infantry over here looks like it can all form square. He's quite capable of that. The cavalry is obviously there to support uh, any squares. Got a cavalry over here that's being forced back because of artillery. Yeah, I think that's that uh, the horse artillery over there, the six pounder is just taking some chunks out of the Austrian cav. Horse in the back away from the river. But yes, if you're enjoying all things NTW3 and would like to see some more Napoleonic action, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, guys. Feel free to leave a comment as well if there's any sort of like battles or factions you want to try and see in uh, in a battle. I could try to do obviously my best. Like some people give some like weird, wacky uh, <laughs> options that are like, I'll try and do my best. But the likelihood of, uh, I don't know, getting, I don't know, Vettenberg against England is very unlikely, for instance. Uh, but yeah, you've got West of Philly and his guard Schemmelgeurs there. They're called the Wolf. That's a cool name. I do like uh, this unit. It looks very nice. And it's like, it's cool to see these sort of like clan games, because you do see some unusual cores and therefore some unusual units. And we have our first combat. And it's going to be against the artillery here. You can see some uh, Ulans trying to take out this uh, artery of Bernadotte. They might be okay. Oh no, no they're not. The Chevrolet have been routed in the Ulans and are going to be able to fall onto Bernadotte's guns here. And these uh, eight pounders are getting taken out. And that is the loss there for Saxony. Which is very strange that Bernadotte is commanding Saxony, I won't lie, but I guess he is. And there's another one here. There's another eight pounder here that's just asking to be taken out. It's stuck in the mud, quite literally. It is stuck in the mud and it's going to get taken out here by Ulans. There's more, um, like, lances on their way. Polish ones, by the looks of it. They are late. Jerome trying to save their, uh, their ally there. And they might just catch the, uh, the lances here. Might say, uh, like, I get something. Yeah, there you go. They routed them. But that lance unit there for Austria has done a lot of good. Taking out a cab unit and two artillery. Definitely got his money to work. Yeah, this, like, light, uh, light cab here. Just making sure that the, uh, the Austrians stay gone. Oh, another little Austrian Hussar over here that's sniffing about, so might be worth the uh, Jerome's Cav staying in this sort of area. There's a lot of Austrian cavalry sniffing about here. Oh, the artillery returned. Not that it's going to be much good, because the uh, the carriage has gone, but the guns are in not a very good position, actually, at all. It's unlikely they'll be being used. Uh, anyway, back on this side here, it looks like uh, line infantry is dueling. We have a little bit of a line, a line fight about to take place. Then the Austrians are firing off some shots onto more Chevlikers of Bernadotte here. Yes, it looks like Varian is going to be taking on this Austrian army. I have no clue who this is. All the Austrian like, units are very similar. 
all in their pristine white uniforms. So it's kind of hard to tell whose core is who. We've got artillery setting up here on the road, so I'll show them that they're going to try and obviously try and dominate this sort of this road. They've obviously pushed out of this one pointer. Surprisingly, I was like, look like they should have been the ones pushing the cab out. But the very got a shuffle on, got over here. And really, Bavaria shouldn't need to move on. They should just sit back, wait for the Austrians to come to them. They have the LOCs that they need. They have these uh, these two one-pointers up here. Which are a bit isolated now, but they do hold them. The two-pointer and the one-pointer here. And they're nice in this corner. Oh, and the sneaky rear charge has not been pulled off well from Jerome here. His uh, Danish Hussars, they've been taken out by another Hussar unit there. This is cab unit. This is one's not hidden at all, so they need to get back. Another Saxon Hussar that needs to get back and hidden. It was a little early to try this little ploy. I think these guys should have, could have stayed hidden for a long, long, long time. Um, because it's like Bernadotte's got plenty of cav. I think most of the other cores like Venenberg and Ferry put their own cav as well. So they could have just kept those ones hidden and just played the waiting game until Austria committed more of its own cav. I mean, also, there's a general right here. I mean, he might have cavalry around him, but more than likely he does. My gosh, look at this defense that Austria set up here. What is this? It's like Fort Sumter or something. It's like, it's incredible. Got this, just this outcrop on top of here, and then, yeah. Bunker Hill, almost. That's what it really is. Oh my gosh. And they're shelling these Chevalier of Vandenberg there. Trying to do uh, some work, and it looks like Jerome's having none of it, and he's setting up his own grand battery here. With some Danish artillery. Actually, they're not shelling. Uh, the, uh, they're not counter-battering. They are going for Austrian infantry here that is moving forward. But yeah, that is going to be a formidable defense, I imagine. And, like, infantry inside that, putting the artillery, will be incredible. I would like to see that. Very is still moving forward. What's he got here? It's line infantry is forming in these columns. I wonder whether these columns are going to be some grenadiers or something. I don't know. The very doesn't really have grenadiers. They have, like, guard units. Sort of, yeah, these guys here, the, um, the Kron Prince, the G3s. They're kind of like Grenadiers. It's got two of them here in reserve. I think they're the most, like, elite infantry that uh, the Bavarian can bring. Most of their infantry is just, like, sort of basic line infantry that can either form square or can't form square. All these guys can't. They need to be well guarded by Cav in case of a charge. Because Austria has plenty of it. Bernadotte over here. Look, I would just like to say Bernadotte is out here. Um, way out on the flank. With the supporting his cab. Not a bad idea. He should with the cab fight, you imagine if he's popped some inspires or some uh, some rallies. But it is a bit of a risk. If uh, the Austrians match the cavalry units man for man, and then there's a spare one to go after Bernadotte. He's gonna look very silly when he gets cut down. Drone being afforded more Westphalian. I'll tell you by the looks of it, to join his grand battery of Danish guns. Looks like a bit of a matchup going on here. I feel like the... Oh, these are Dutch? We have Dutch... Um, Jurassic, they look very nice, actually. I do like the look of them. But uh, they should be able to match up quite nicely against anything going on this flank here. But they are being forced back, I think, because of the uh, oncoming Austrians. It's a very slow start to this battle. Very slow start. Neither side really wanted to commit just yet. Looks like we might be able to see the Bavarians just go straight down this road. The Austrians are firing. Or the Hungarians, I should say. Don't know why we have silent muskets, but we do. There we go. And here we go. Looks like oh, the Bavarians might be about to form up into line. for their troubles. You get flung by range, that's for sure. There's light infantry, there's light infantry here. Probably doesn't need to get as close. I and mean, it'll be just as accurate. Looks like the Austrians have none of it though. They're going to send forward their cavalry. Infantry is being re um, retreated. And the cav looks like it was going to go for a charge. But then some change the lines of the SARS there. Maybe they saw the uh, Chevalier coming up behind for the Bavarian. Got better of it. Again, Austria is on the retreat. I don't know where they plan to retreat to. Oh, we've had a bit of a trade-off here as well. So it looks like we've had Westphalian. Oh, no, it's the Wolf Lancers. They've gone in. And what do they take out? 
be like a skirmisher or something like that. I don't think it was anything exciting. That is a shame though that they are gone. And again, more cab fighting going on the other side over here. It's right in the back. It's that Saxon Hussar getting taken out. So all the rear sort of uh, caviarness of the, uh, the drone sneakily put in there. All gone. All gone. A bit of a shame, that is for sure. So yeah, there you go. All those sneaky little red units are wasted. Bavaria is still pushing them hard here. I guess maybe just with the support, Bernadotte's sort of like... Well, he's got light infantry with it, some skirmishes here as well. But yeah, Bernadotte's cav and like the infantry, maybe this Austrian player is getting a little overwhelmed. I mean, they seem like they've got ample of everything. Maybe not infantry. But I would have thought that they'd have enough to match the Bavarians. Bavarian infantry is not exactly anything special. It's Hungarians, I feel like it's a, a good match. But again, it seems like they're just going to keep pulling back, just, you know, play it safe. We've got Grenadiers now over here. I wonder whether this is a sign of Lichtenstein. Lichtenstein is very much the Grenadier call for, uh, for Austria. And again, it looks like we're going to see Vettenberg almost shift this way to support um, support against uh, this Austrian player here with Bavaria. Bavaria's kind of almost just screening with a couple of his infantry units, and uh, it looks like Vettenberg's going to be sneaking on round. I mean, it seems like Austria can see this. None of his units seem like they're hidden. Well, some of them are. Some of them aren't. It's a bit of a 50-50. Yeah, this looks like a little bit of a line fight taking place. Jerome over here is... Playing a very much a rear guard action here. I think he's retreating as his uh, allies on the other side advance. So we are going to see a swivel, really, as you can see already. I think the French left is going to be composed of this 2 point over here and Jerome. And it looks like maybe maybe elements of Bernadotte. I don't really know. It looks like Bernadotte's getting out of here as well. The center is going to be made of really of Wittenberg and Bavaria. And Bernadotte, I think he's going to go to that extreme right when he eventually gets over his infantry. Yeah, we'll be interested to see how this one goes out. I feel like Jerome doesn't have a lot of infantry. Went a lot, really, with cavalry. That's why we've got, like, Saxon, oh, we've got Saxon cuirassiers and also uh, Dutch cuirassiers under Jerome, okay. He went really heavy with his heavy cab, quite literally, with Jerome sat in amongst the uh, cuirassiers, admiring his excellent troops. The Danes are here as well. We've got Polish cab waiting in the uh, in the wings. We had not a lot of infantry, that's for sure. Mecklenburg and Burgish infantry, Poles. Yeah, not a lot that's going to hold back the, uh, the Austrians. But I don't know how big the Austrian army really is in infantry here either. I haven't seen a lot of infantry. Not like most of their infantry is in the center. Uh, towards Bavaria. Yeah, if you want to get involved in any sort of NTW3 battles and or just want to send in your own replays to my Discord, have them uh, shown off on YouTube, feel free to uh, join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. All are welcome to join. Uh, if you want to get involved in any sort of battles, uh, if you're a new player, you're more than welcome to come and join. And if you've got any awesome replays, feel free to send them in. I'm always looking for more replays for NTW3. You guys love, them, love it so much. We've got light infantry here. Getting ready to go in. Nope, change their mind. They're gonna fall back. Or not. They're gonna form the old blob formation. It's a very good formation. It makes perfect targets for the enemy. Oh, Cavs. Cav was thinking about it. Austrian Cavs are slowly appearing. It looks like Bavaria is going to obviously make a, a push now for this one point here, which the Austrians do occupy. But that is uh, where the, the French, well, the German right, I should say, is going to end up. I guess I could call it Imperial. But you know what? They're all Germans. We're calling it German. Uh, we're calling them the Germans today. Rheinbund and their team. And here we go. In go uh, the, the G3s, the conference. 
And they're going all right in. Very elite unit. We should clear these guys out. What is in there? Whatever unit this is, it doesn't look like anything too exciting. Looks like maybe like a light infantry or something that Austria's put in there. Yeah, the line fight has begun. Bavaria is firing away. He's got he's a bit of a weird formation going on here with this unit, but we don't, we'll, we'll just move past that. And looks like also a line battle starting to get way underway over here. As Bavaria is also dueling with another Austrian core, I imagine. Yeah, it looks like this is Lichtenstein. Look at all the grenadiers that are here. Oh my. There you go. They have captured that house on the right hand side. Very didn't mess about. There's a lot of grenadiers here. Obviously, they want to get into a melee fight. Bavaria wants to avoid that as much as possible. Looks like we're going to see the Grand Battery of Jerome being set up here. Well, it's not quite the Grand Battery. It's just the Westphalian ones. With well, Bernadotte losing all his guns, I guess that actually might have helped uh, the, uh, the German side. Because they were taking a long time to set up those 8-pounders. Even on the road, they were taking a long time to move. Got more. We've got Burgish 6-pounders here. Who's the Danish one? Oh, and Jerome has those as well. Jerome brought three guns, two cuirassiers. It's a strange build, that's for sure. Tax and cuirassiers. Yeah. I was thinking for a moment, did he bring a third cuirassier? No, it's just, it's just moved along the line. Yeah, here we go. The, uh, the Westphalian guns can now start to pound away. And start to punish those grenadiers for getting too close. I feel like, actually... Sir! Sir! Our general is under I feel like the Bavarians definitely more losses than that. Austria there, I think that's that unit being cleared out of the building. But yeah, Vedenberg here is getting ready, along with Bavaria for a push. Interesting setup. It's very interesting to watch different players play in CW3 because we've got like lines of in like initial lines of infantry, they're more like sort of dashed about uh, in and they're not in column, they're sort of like in a long thin line is, uh, I guess, what you want for, obviously, for shooting, but uh, the movement you kind of want to stay in columns a bit more, more like the French are in. Jägerkamp here really wants to go in for Vandenberg, but he can't make up his mind. Austria shooting his own infantry there. Did also put a nice uh, volley through the uh, the light infantry here on Vandenberg. He can't stay there too long. And there you go. I think the Jägerkamp sees an opportunity going for this unit. There's red lining here. No, changes his mind. I guess maybe they can form square? Perhaps? I don't know. Yeah, you captain really needs to make up his mind. He's probably losing men from friendly fire and also Austrian fire. But maybe he doesn't like his chances of survival once it, uh, once it goes against the Austrian cab. But there you go. Uh, I think the Austrians stop for the square. I don't know. But there you go. Austrians returning the favor and charging in. Taking out the Vettenberg cavalry. There you go. The Jaeger cab, as expected, died. And there you go. It looks like um, we're going to see the uh, Bavarians here scare off, scare off the, uh, the Austrian cab. And then, yeah, up comes another unit. Uh, Chevalier Gers now coming up. I don't think they're going to go in, but they just ran, dashed up to fill the gap that was being uh, made there. I guess Van Damme kind of was under threat. I don't think it really is. Bernadotte got his shuts in up here. He's trying to obviously push forward. And it looks like uh, Jerome's having a bit of a, a rough time over here. So, no surprise, his allied infantry is not holding strong. It's in really thin lines. I mean, look at the size of the units. 74, they are tiny. Oh, I think that Jaeger Cavs returned. And it fancies round two. The light infantry is getting pretty close as well. Like, painfully close. This is like going to... I mean, if they shoot the gun, if the gun shoot at them, they are in real trouble. They're firing cannons. I think the variants, the variants can get soaking up because they're in this like forest area. But we'll see. It's getting a little messy over there. We have got the Bernadotte now pushing forward with his guard to core. He's got like a uh, Saxon guard to core. Here. They might actually be able to take on most of his cab. I don't know. It's pretty useful as uh, guard to core. It's like, well. It's good. It's, it's guard cavalry. What's there more to say? And here comes the more cavalry. 
as uh, Chevrolet Gers coming in. Yeah, I think the Austrians have bitten off more than they can chew here. They have made a mistake. They made a big mistake by in the uh, Bernadotte call here. And I think this is going to go maybe in favor of them. I don't know. But more Austrian cab now arriving makes me change my mind. Let's see. Chevrolet Gers charging Chevrolet Gers. Bernadotte's quite close to the front line, I'd like to say as well. An Austrian charge on him could be disastrous. There is a lot of cab actually in this area. Bernadotte needs to bring up whatever cab he has left. Bring it over here. Come on, Bavaria, do your bit. You're one of Napoleon's most trusted allies. Prove it. I think they're getting absolutely battered though by Canisters. Yeah, this unit here is violated, you could say. Uh, it looks like actually that, that cab fight out there is now going back in favor of uh, Bernadotte. It looks like the Chevrolet has managed to route that unit there. The guard corps has gone way wide as well, and they're trying to take out a side that's retreating. Uh, whether the Austrians are going to bring up more cabs doesn't look like it. They're keeping these three patiently there. I guess if they accept that fate. And it looks like Bavaria is going in for a charge. This is the, uh, the Koenig. It's another G3, actually. More, so these must be also uh, like Grenadier Guards or stuff. They're going in. They're doing their bit. And the Austrians are going to reply with a bayonet charge. I don't think this is going to work in their favor. A cab fight taking place in the middle of Edinburgh. And Austria is dueling with their Hussars. They're both using Hussars there. No, that's the Jaeger cab. The Austrians sent in Hussars. The Austrians lost the infantry fight, but they won the cab fight. That's very typically Austria. And it looks like Bavaria's going to fall back now and try to close the gap. Their uh, Koenig infantry is just getting absolutely blasted by the Austrian infantry. Need the Grenadiers. So to be honest, if they charged head on, they, like the Grenadiers would have like shot them. The Grenadiers, these Austrian Grenadiers are pretty decent shooters, and also they get they're good at melee. So they're really tough to sort like deal with, and they most probably form square, I imagine. Lichtenstein's the pain of a core to deal with. This is just a, my experience. Got to get him in melee, I guess, and then hope to get uh, like hit him with cav as well, like the old one too, cav and infantry together. Jerome side over here, it's getting a little quiet, you know. I'm waiting for these uh, Dutch Gracias to go in and do something to win the day. Oh, there you go, cab charge going in. They're trying to harass those grenadiers. The grenadiers are falling back, they're not falling, falling square. I guess they, well, they can't now because of being engaged, but maybe they couldn't at all. Edinburgh's goons here. Oh, well, they're not the Chevrolet Gers. They look like the goons, so. though. Now, they're, now they're losing. They're, they're starting to uh, the red line. I guess you could also just pound the uh, Grenadiers with artillery. That's another way you can kill them off. Yeah, look at this. Austria is in full retreat. I guess they're going towards the one point. I really do not know where they're going. Oh, Jurassia is over here as well. It's part of Lichtenstein's score. Another building's been captured. Uh, Jerome has captured this one as well. At the moment, the Imperial side control most of the LOCs here. I mean, we've got two, three, four, five, six points in their control. The Austria have really got to do some push in some way. They can't keep retreating like this and hope that they're going to win the fight. Um, win the fight, like, out and out. Because, I mean, really, they're not having a fight at all. I feel like Austria knows they can't win the fight. Uh, like, the the conventional way. They're going to have to take LOCs. Which means they really need to somehow readjust their line and get these one-pointers, maybe. Here we go. Cab going in. Chevrolet Gers going in for another assault on these uh, Grenadiers here. And they have caused them to sort of waver a bit. So the Chevrolet Gers are nearly breaking it up as well. Line infantry, if they can get close to the, yeah, the uh, Crown Prince here. Crown Prince. I presume it is. Uh, maybe do some serious damage. I mean, they are killing, dropping these grenadiers, actually. Here we go, charge. Looks like it's going to be coming in from the Austrians. 
They're going in after the Carabineers here that a Bernadotte can bring forward. And I thought that they would win the Austrians. We'll see. Oh no, Kaban winning. Carabineers, maybe they will. I mean, if the shots in here can get good side shots. They can maybe turn that around, but it looks like the way of numbers is now starting to go in favor of the Austrians. And there you go, yeah. I mean, that was a surprise for a moment when they combined winning slightly. Oh, look at this. Bernadotte in, in danger. Oh, he's not, he's not anymore. The Austrians have decided to pull back. I think they could have maybe got him. I think they could have got him. You see a charge here from more Jäger Cap going in from uh, Vedenberg. So again, they're going in, going in after the uh, Grenadiers. This time they form a square, and this time they are repelled. Again, we've got a bit of a, a line starting to form up over here. The Austrian guns again pounding away, putting holes into these uh, Bavarian lines. Poor conscripts. They didn't know what they signed up for. But it looks like. I also like to say that Bernadotte's infantry element has not yet got to the battlefield. It's still moving forward. Come on guys, you slow coaches, you can make it. The advance has been so quick on the side that yeah, the infantry's just not, not got here in time. Well, some of it has. But not, not much. Yeah, it's certainly been a, a slow start, a slow burn to this one. Had a little bit of excitement here and there. I'm, ex I'm we're waiting for like sort of like all out like run from one side or another. The variants here, they're uh, doing a lot of heavy lifting. I feel like they're just everywhere at the moment. Jerome's retreating. Still, it's been the story of this game. This man has retreated everywhere. He's, yeah, his grass is just getting pounded. So they're achieving. Both his grass is. They are. They're not even hidden, actually. So well, the, the Dutch ones. We are. have killed their general. A general has now been killed. They must break. Okay, that must be like a rogue artillery shot. Whether they were targeting him, I do not know. That is one of the generals dead. So Austria. Might be in a bit of a, uh, obviously, well, they're in a bit of trouble now with this flank out of gone. We might see a bit of a push now from the Bavarians and uh, Jerome here to maybe uh, take advantage of the loss of the general. Morale will obviously be a little short. Now is the time to make a push. Now is the time. It's Austrian Cav getting absolutely shot to pieces as well by our even if it dead come forward they're like yeah nope go back I actually still hold the building over here to the um the Austrians looks like it's Bernadotte has been given the job of taking it oh life grenadier guards yeah they will definitely do the job of taking that building and that's just a grenadier that basic one yeah they should be fine they'll take that building no problem at all yeah the line fight I guess the only sort of line fight going on is over here really Cheap Bavarians is slowing down an Austrian core here where there is a well, I guess it has more points value because this is a small slither of Bavaria that's been sent over here. Austria has no general now. So there's always that. Here, they're uh, guess just getting ready. They're going to start chipping away, doing their bit. And there you go. That building's been taken in the back by the Grenadiers of Bernadotte. So uh, they might eventually get to the battlefield. They might also not. I wonder whether they look at this. Yeah, another Grenadier going over here, and that's just going to take this building. I imagine there might be an Austrian in this one as well. But uh, yeah, they're they're just going velocity. Look at this. They're like fully encircled the coalition with LOC in LOCs. The only one they don't hold is the one right as that bang in the middle pretty much I mean they don't hold this one yet but you imagine they're going to take it sending more musketeers in that direction looks like Bernadotte's core is literally its principal like point is support with cavalry and 
take LOCs. So yeah, that's I think where most of his core is. Yeah, there's like musketeers over there. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's actually Jerome. Some Dutch infantry there. Yeah, that is kind of like their principal point of those two. It seems like Bavaria and Bedenberg do much, most of the aggressive pushing, which is kind of surprising since Van Damme is just a, a six-pointer. Yeah, some of the uh, Bavarians are being cleared out, and Austria is making a bit of an offensive here. Got Hungarian grenadiers moving forward. Got some Austrian ones. And are we now going to see Austria come into life? Are we going to see some sort of push here? I hope so. Bavaria is also starting to lose a few more troops. And this is the first all like infantry losses I think we're going to see for the Imperials. Yeah, there you go, two units lost, just like that. I think they're getting pounded by their own uh, Danish artillery, to be honest. They're trying to slow down these uh, grenadiers who keep on coming. The Danish artillery is firing away. They're actually firing canister. Yeah, that is hitting their own, their own boys first. The Danes, uh, sorry, the uh, the Austrians very like thank the uh, variants for that. They've been saved from a lot of hassle, a lot of canister hassle. But I feel like now the Imperials should make a can push this back. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of infantry here being pushed forward. The sport of artillery, like just chip away with the artillery a little bit. It can definitely definitely do something here. Or flank in from the side of the Grenadiers. Possible as well. Yeah, this is the only sort of line fight that's really taking place at the moment. Mecklenburg in trying to do their bit. And again, over here looks like the, uh, the Imperials taking another another building. Oh, we have got uh, Austrians over here. A little bit of a lag spike there. But uh, yeah, the Chevrolet Girls coming in. I think they're trying to take out the infantry that was outside the building. I think that's all it was. I mean, oh no, Chevrolet is chasing. Look at this. They made a mistake. Did Austria coming over here? What are you going to try and do? Take this building back with Cav? Fools. There you go. They caught them. And I think they might route that Chevrolet. It's fairly near the red line as well. Oh, they'll be very unlucky if they don't get it. And yeah, there you go. They actually managed to get away. Well done, Austria. I mean, well, not really well done, but. I guess. At least well done for getting away. The line fight still continues over here. Chipping away, doing their bit. Looks like we're seeing Austria as well. They're going to try and maybe take this LOC back. I don't know if they've got much here that's going to be able to do it. Looks like a lot of light infantry. They might be being held. They might be stopped by the poles, to be honest. I think they could just do it. There's, uh, there's Danish sharpshooters in there as well. They'll hold. They'll hold that town. Austrians here. They're struggling in a line fight. Probably because they have no general in this flank. It seems like, yeah. It seems like now... Vedenberg and also Saxony here, but Bernadotte kind of taking over that right flank. They've slowed down a lot. Bavaria has slowed down a lot as well. I think they've kind of realized that they've they spread themselves quite thin and they can't actually make a concentrated push really anywhere. And very much sort of supporting in a way. And they've got some of their like con, con prince here, crown prince. Some of their like infantry here supporting. Whether they can break through these uh, grenadiers, I do not know. And I think this is why the Imperials aren't ha bothered about pushing forward. Uh, these Grenadiers are pretty tough. Legend Sign's got a tough call in Breakthrough. And the Grenadiers, they hold the LOCs. They've allowed the uh, Germans, the German states to take all the LOCs. And they have these Grenadiers. They could have fought for these tooth and nails in Austria. And they haven't. And it's now going to be pretty hard to take it back because the uh, Germans have entrenched themselves pretty well around these towns. Got artillery set up pretty nicely, and now that they're in the they're in the building, like in, and they've got infantry around them, charging into a building with grenadiers while being shot from multiple flanks could be pretty costly. 
and the Grenadier Corps at the moment is right in the middle of the battlefield. It's not really doing anything there. It's just almost supporting as the main front line because it seems like Austrian mainline infantry has not got a lot done. But here we go. Looks like we're going to see a bit of a push here. Polish uh, like Cav is going to go in. He's going to try and take out these uh, these Austrians that have been pestering Juro. There you go. Slice and dice as the Austrians are on the way with their own light cab. It's a tiny little unit. They might route Jerome though yet. They did just that. And it looks like if Jerome will route the cab as well. So neither side really gained anything from that, but a bit of action, which is good to see. Austria's actually making a push for the two-pointer here, but I don't think they're gonna take this either. Look at, yeah, it just puts some skirmishes up or something. And Bavaria is sent them packing. You need to send a little bit more than that if you're going to want to try and take that back. And it looks like, yeah, the line fight is about to get underway on this side here. It looks like uh, Lichtenstein is going to invite the uh, Bavarians into a, a line battle. Crown Prince unit here, they're falling back. They're pretty bad at this point, about a half strength. What they need to do is take out Lichtenstein. They need to take him out, and then the morale for those grenadiers will be, and these jassies will be much uh, damaged. Will be very damaged, and uh, they might make a push themselves. But yeah, the Imperials here, I don't think they're strong enough to uh, the units they have to break through. Lichtenstein's line. Lichtenstein, if anything, has got to make the move. He's got to do something. We're going to see Hussars going here. They're going to try and take on these uh, these Hussars, Bernadotte. And they got out of there pretty easily. Looks like they're going to see sort of a reconquest of this northern point. So we just got some uh, Hungarian line infantry. They're moving forward to try and take this point back. They might do it. There are grenadiers inside the building. Musketeers outside in the cab, obviously, here sniffing about. But we want to support any sort of uh, fight that takes place. There are plenty of Hussars here as well that could obviously support either side. Yeah, there's plenty of Hussars. Yeah, it doesn't seem like either side really, really doing too much at the moment. It seems like the uh, poles are lost out there in the line fight. But Jerome just needs to hold on. It just needs to be a delay factor. It seems like uh, it's only a matter of time until Austria does something against Wedenberg. And yeah, here they come. Will Wedenberg stand its ground? I don't know. Six pound of horse up is not going anywhere, so it's just maybe. A lot of light infantry here. Certainly in a melee fight, these guys will not stand against the uh, against the grenadiers. Uh, they are giving ground. They like shooting and retreating. Oh, and the Austrians did go in, and they actually did manage to take out a few musketeers from Bernadotte. That's a win. Whether Vedenberg should really have supported his ally there, I feel like he might have wanted to. Bit of a, a bit of an engagement taking place, but yeah, it's not much. Again, looks like Austria sent infantry all the way over here. I think they just sent something over here as well. Yeah, Austria got units wavering, breaking as they uh, attempted to take that building. So Austria, obviously, it's attempting to take all these uh, these positions back, but it's failing kind of miserably at the moment. Grenadiers form square. They stop that uh, charge there from Wedenberg. Chevaliers, and I think we're going to see maybe Lightning going for a charge. I don't know. It looks like that might be the case. The Grenadiers fancy themselves, obviously. We've got um, the fur here. He's moved up. He's now uh, obviously trying to rally his boys. Looks like the Grenadiers are about to go in for a charge. This battle's certainly been an example of how tactical a W3 can be. You can get, like, a lot can happen, but not a lot of men can die. Oh, like, you see, like, this battle rotate multiple times on its head. Like, from the original setup. Jerome over here again is dueling. Looks like there's been a little bit of a uh, skirmish there, just so you know. But yeah, the main fight looks like it's going to be taking place here. Finally, we're going to see some action. Looks like we're going to see Jurassic going into the gun here. Will they fire? Oh, brutal. Nice little volley there. Taking out about five or six Jurassic but it's not going to stop them. 
In they go, squares are being formed. And it should break the Gracias. The gun is dead, but the uh, Gracias are probably going to die with them. Squares are being formed here by the Crown Prince unit. Yep, there you go, they're gone. Grenadiers are going in. They're being broken, it looks like, by uh, baseball item tree. Well, baseball item tree broke, but the Grenadiers I don't think are going to stand much longer. They're going to get charged by the Bavarian ones. Vedenberg here is also routing Grenadiers, it looks like, so that's a good win there for them. And these Grenadiers can't form square. This one can, I think. The Bavarians there, they are uh, they're dealing with those Grenadiers very nicely. Even if they are losing a line fight elsewhere. You know, it's potato, potato and all that. And we've got a bit of a cav fight now taking place over here. We've got Bernard Dot. He's trying to deal with multiple units of Austrian cav out here. I think Austria has like, finally woken up and realized that it has the capability of outdoing these, uh, German, these German states quite easily. There you go. The Lion Infantry and Cavalry supporting together. Now they can storm this building if they wanted to. There's only 48 guys in there. They are probably Grenadiers, though. So whether this uh, Hungarian unit will have a chance, I doubt it. Looks like a drone has made some sort of a comeback. We're we finally going to see these uh, Dutch Karasias go in. I think we might. They're walking. They're going towards the the uh, the infantry. I think they sense that the battle is almost over. There are only four minutes left in this replay, and I feel like this. Well, Austria might have. I think Austria's finally buckled with the Grenadiers. There you go. They routed that unit. The Dutch uh, Karasias there getting off a bit of a charge at the very end. Yeah, I feel like Austria did not bring a lot of infantry. Like, we're not... I, they have lost, obviously, some gradually throughout the battle, but it's just not the typical masses. The Grenadiers are by far and away the large, like, formation of infantry. Maybe they felt that they, the Austrians could win it with just, like, a superior amount of cab, because they had a lot of cab. There's, like, ample amount on this left-hand flank here. So many Hussars. Maybe they thought they could just win it with cab superiority, and then... The uh, Grenadiers just smashing through? I don't know. I mean, it seems like there's a steady flow of Hungarians coming this way as well. Hungarians and German infantry. Yeah, it just seems like, uh, seems like after like the push on this right flank here by the, the German states is just really good. Very unexpected, I think, from the Austrians. And they just rotated the line. They claimed so many of these uh, one-pointers up here. And I mean, to be honest, they're very close to taking the final one as well if they can break through. But the uh, Grenadiers are holding strong. Lichtenstein's here rallying the boys. And I think with the amount of minutes left, like three minutes left, it's probably going to be a, uh, unless the Austrians could turn this around now, it's going to be probably a victory for the uh, Imperial side, for the uh, German states. Probably an LOC sort of victory. Again, Austria. Yeah, I think this is also the problem. Like, Austria's been setting infantry off left, right, and center, just trying to take back these LOC points, which they have to do, I guess. They have managed to arouse some of these Bavarians. They sent another unit in here. What's this? It's just German infantry. I don't know why they didn't send all the Grenadiers off to go and take back these buildings. Looks like the uh, the Austrians will stop there, but yeah, if they said that all those Grenadiers, were well, some of the just the Grenadiers that Liechtenstein had, they don't have to send them all, and they would have definitely probably taken the buildings back. Then France would have had a problem. But it looks like it doesn't look like they're going to get the two pointer. There is also cab or something right over here. Oh, and there's a general. What's a general doing here? Unless it's the general that's lost his um, like the but it's just the general's bodyguard. Like the general's dead. Then. Uh, Strange thing to have in place there. Bavaria now is um not Bavaria. I guess Bavaria is here a bit, but Vennenberg is now descending on the uh, the Grenadiers. They're making their sort of last stand it's like Rock's Drift almost as they're getting attacked from multiple sides by Germans.
constantly reforming this uh, this line, sort of tightening the circle. And they're preparing for the inevitable. The cab trying to obviously get in behind the Chevrolet Gears here. They're trying to uh, get in. I don't know, most of these Grenadiers probably can form squares. It's probably not a danger for them. Oh, they are not interested in the Grenadiers at all. They see a better target. It's the infantry over here. Oh, they broke. Chevrolet Gears is useless. This uh, Bedenberg one, though, is pretty good. Like, still lasted 17 men, and they're going to charge straight in. A nice charge there. They break that unit, they'll get in behind the, uh, the Grenadiers here. Oh, or maybe not. Fancy keeping it alive. If they could get in behind this line, though, then they could have uh, maybe forced the, uh, the Grenadiers here or Bavaria to charge forward and just finish this job off. Like, they don't need to, they don't have to do anything risky. I mean, it looks like the Austrians are shattered and just scattered everywhere now. Running. Another Chevrolet Gaze. They brought two of them, and they're really good, these uh, Benberg Chevrolet Gaze, it seems. Really, really good. And here we go. We're going to see a charge from the Austrian Grenadiers. Twirling their belly at bayonets. In they go. Good charge against the, uh, the Grenadiers of Ferret. They broke them instantly. Good charge. And we've got Van Damme here. He's a bit open, but I don't think the Grenadiers will be able to catch him. And here we go. Gonna try and go for this general. I don't know if this is actually still a general that's alive. Our men are running. There you go, the Wittenberg general, uh, Wittenberg cab getting in. Actually being routed by the general. Good on him. Held his ground. And there you go. It is a draw, but I would say that is an imperial uh, Imperial LOC victories there. So well done to Rheinbund. They did their job as Rheinbund and all the other um, German states. So really well done to them. Uh, I hopefully put up the end results so you guys can have a look at. Uh, so yeah, well done to them. I think this is uh, sent in from um, yeah the player playing as uh, Vedenberg. So yeah, you can see here we've got uh, Chevrolet Gers getting 85 kills from Schutz and getting 93 kills. Not massive kills for uh, either side because I don't think it was like really a very it was a very bloodless battle almost. Um, there really was not a lot of action going on, but there are all the end results if you want to have a look at those. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. That is today's battle. It certainly was a fun one. The German states managed to unite against their Austrian overlord and have uh, pushed him back. And they'll do Napoleon proud. He'll be very proud of their, his German allies in today's battle. But yeah, there you go, guys. Do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here. And if you want to see more NTW3 battles, then yeah, make sure you hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.